Hello, I want to show you how to use a small family website that's been built with Drupal. Um, this particular site is, is uh, set up so that only the family members can access it. Um, I've got uh, some screenshots or a script we can go through. Th this will work. This is typical of a small Drupal website. So if, you, if you've got a, a Drupal website, this is uh, you should learn a lot from watching this. Right, so how to use a typical small family website built with Drupal. First, log in. Right, so let's log in. There we go. The important parts of this particular website are the links in the top right of the page and the links in the left hand sidebar and the main content area. The <laughs> right, first let's look at the left hand sidebar. Under your username you can see some links. One says create content, the other says log out. So create content. This is the content area. Your content will appear on this particular website is set up. This is typical of a Drupal website. Um, the, the the content you create will automatically appear here. So if we, we're going to create a blog entry and that will appear here above this one, it'll push this one down the list and when somebody else makes one it'll push ours down the list. So let's click the create content button. We're going to click create a blog entry. <laughs> Pardon me. <coughs> mm, right, we're going to create a blog entry. We could also create... We, our uh, administrator has allowed us to create all these different things. It depends what your administrator sets it up like as to whether whether you can create content of any type and then what type of content you can create. But we can create all these different types of content. We're going to do a blog entry today. Right. So, we've create, clicked the create content link and we'll click the blog entry link right what we're going to do we're going to create a blog entry because blogs are popular and easy to use after clicking the blog entry link we will see a title box and uh, a body text box so we type the title in the text box in the title box and the body text in the body box so let's do that first title here title. I'm going to copy some text just to save time. Just paste it in. Control V. Right. Right. Now I could have added a word processor type interface to this site but this is a simple basic site so what you have to do if you want to um, format your text is to paste the code in I'll show you how to do that so underneath the box that we just typed into there's a more information about formatting options link and it explains what you have to do but make sure you save your page before you do this Sometimes if you don't save your page, it will lose the content inside that page, which if you spent a while typing it, it can be a real pain. So, the easiest way to do that, I'm going to show you now. So simply click the more information about formatting options link, copy the code you want to use, click the back button on your browser and paste the code into your page. After we've saved the page, we'll do that. So first of all, we'll save the page at the bottom there, save. Right, now we click the edit button again. Now, what we want to do, we've pasted this text in and we want to add some bold text. So, here, here's a link that says more information about formatting options. These here, this, this is what you can add. But, we need to know how to do it. So, click this. So, we can have emphasized text, which is italics, strong, which is bold, and we can have lists. We can have an unordered list or an ordered list. We're going to have some bold text, well, strong text, which means bold, so we just copy that. Click the back button on the browser, it's just out of the uh, screenshot, I'm afraid. Right, now we're going to just paste that in at the top there. Paste in what we've copied, Control V. Now we can change that, so 
we'll call it um, how to right just paste the text in don't don't delete any of these funny little bracket signs or it won't work just just change the text in the middle so we'll save that and see if it's worked yep it's gone bold so I'll click the edit button again and we'll add a list so go to the more information about formatting options copy the one for lists we want an unordered list so just copy this here copy it press the back button on your browser and paste it in we can paste it where we want that so paste it in somewhere else paste it in there eh? control V to paste it in that's the first item, second item, if you just want to change it just highlight it and just change it right so we'll click save and see if it's worked yep we've got a list with first and second item and some little bullets so back to edit see what we want to do next we're going to add images right if you want to add an image, scroll down the page to the attached image link and click it. A new dialog box opens, click the browse button to search your computer for an image to upload. Type a title for the image in the title box and then click the upload button. The image will automatically be inserted in your page, so that's easy to do. All we need to do, scroll down the page, look for attached images, click that. And now what we've got to do, this browse button, we're going to look inside, inside my computer for uh, an image just browse around until you find the image you want I want that radio image can't just don't quite fit on that I'll show there we go click the open button and there it is it's, it's telling you which image it's going to use so the title it's going to be a radio and then just click the upload button there now we can't see it yet but what we do is click save there we go it's there and if we click the image a big image appears and we've got to press the back button on the browser to go back to the page right so we put an image in the page see what else is on our list I'll click edit again to go back to editing save your page, don't get to save your page or it won't work if you want to delete a page, if you make a page and you want to delete it all you have to do is click the delete button so if you want to delete a page you have made open the page you are, when you are logged into the website you've got to be logged in to be able to change anything scroll to the bottom of the page and click the delete button so uh, first of all I'll just show you where to find the content or it might get confusing we go back to the front page and here's this this is our um, the page we've made so Fred's page and that's the top of it so if we click this see it says read more so if you just click that and there we go there's the page that we made so to delete the page all you have to do open the page that you, you can only do this with pages you've made um, unless you're the administrator who can delete anything so if you've made a page just log in go to the page that you um, want to delete so find the page you want to delete, want to delete this page we've made it so we're allowed to delete it, click the edit button scroll to the bottom and there you've got a delete button so just click delete are you sure? yes we want to delete it right now we've got this radio as well which is the picture we put in edit we want to delete that just click delete yes we're sure we want to delete it and there we have the front page and our page has disappeared right let's see what else we need to know ah on this particular website there's a chat system so all you have to do um, is, is click in the button 
the, the text tree. It's called Tribune. The one, the one I've installed is called Tribune. There's a loads of different ways of doing this, but th this link here is called Tribune. So click that, and here's a little chat messaging box. And if somebody else was online at the same time, you could chat with them. So what should we put? go post it and here we go what we just posted in has popped up there and if, if some of someone was online somewhere else they could give you a reply now there's I think we've got to the end of my list and I've got a few minutes left about three or four minutes left so where to find your content uh, the content you make automatically appears on the main content area of the front page of this site this has been set to work this way by the administrator, but it's typical of a Drupal site. So on this website, when you make a new page, it will automatically pop up on the front page of the website. Um, so if you go to the front page, well, we've deleted it now, but the, the most modern, the most recent page to pop up uh, to be made will just automatically appear here. And then when somebody else makes another page, this one will be pushed down one, and the new page will appear there. Um, you, can, you can make other types of content too. So supposing we wanted to make some uh, a story or, or join a group, I've, I've made it so they can join groups, make a group to join. Anyway, I'm running out of time, so don't forget to log out when you're finished. And that's how it works. Well, I hope you find it useful, and I'll have to leave it there because I'm running out of time. I want to put this on uh, YouTube and get a limited amount of time. Bye.